Big Gear Heads, Jeff and Jose Juan here Hello. at Gear Report. It's gear-report.com. We're going to talk about two things real quick today, and uh, I'll tell you, they're products I didn't know existed, certainly products that I didn't think I needed, but we took a chance, we checked them out, and i got to tell you... I'm sold on this idea. These are key organizers, and you can see a variety of keys in this one. This is called the Grip Key. It's made of Kydex. Guys, this is the key bar. It's made out of aluminum. There you go. So you just put your keys in between these screws, and uh, you can fold them up. I'll show you how it works. Why don't you show that one? I like to put mine in the pocket, and sometimes I use it outside. So there you go. Instead of having your keys sit way down at the bottom, where maybe when I sit down, a key's poking and it pokes me in the groin, that's kind of unpleasant. Uh, it holds them up out of the way and in a consistent spot. They don't bounce if I'm running. Uh, I like that. It keeps them quiet. It keeps them organized in here. And uh, even has a, a little attachment. This is a little grommet to hold a key ring for something like the remote control. And this one has the metal ring on it where you can attach, you know, we have this uh, multi-tool uh, but you can put another key ring in there if you're going to put your uh, door opener or, or things like that on it for, from the yeah, car. Yeah, key bar's got a variety of different accessories. They have a little USB stick. They have, uh, I've seen knife blades. I, I don't know if either one of these actually make a knife blade, if grip key or key bar make it. Uh, but I've seen on Instagram some people that have various tools like this that have knife blades that, that have a, a whole slew of different things you can put in them. So, um, all right, let me, I'll talk to you about the, the grip key first. So we have this clip. I showed you the clip the way we carry it. If it looks familiar, uh, it may ring a bell like this as the same clip that you find on a lot of concealed carry holsters inside the waistband holsters. Uh, I think that's a little bit big. I have a problem when I wear it of this edge here catching on like door frames when I'm walking by and I actually have some door frames in my house now that have paint missing from that. Um, that's about the only complaint I have uh, on the grip key is that the clip snags on things sometimes and when I put it in the car to turn the car on the plastic, the Kydex, torques a little. I'm overdoing it so you can see it but um, that's a little disconcerting for me. When, when I'm actually driving I feel like it could fall down. Maybe, maybe I tip it up a little bit but uh, I haven't had it actually fall down to the point that it pulls the key out so it made me a little nervous at first but that never happened. Um, otherwise, I like it. It's uh, if you look at it beside the key bar, you know, the grip key is a little bit wider. Um, it's a little bit longer, but the plastic, you know, the Kydex is molded around the key, so it holds them in place for a while, and it's lighter, I think, than than the key bar just slightly. So uh, it's a different approach. It's got three screws with one in the middle, so your keys don't pivot all the way through. Um, I know it's patent pending. This is handmade. It's made in the USA. Um, I believe this is made in the USA as well. That appears to be more of a production, you know, machine tool. I don't know if it's forged or cast or how they make it, but um, you know, a little bit different approach here. Um, I like this. This is a twenty-five dollar item, and um, I think uh, versus the forty-five, you know, it's a good budget way to get started with one. Um, what, what do you think about the keyboard? Yeah, guys, this is the keyboard, and like Jeff mentioned, uh, this is an, an aluminum piece. Um, whether it's made out of uh, aluminum sheets, uh, they're actually, I would say, at least an eighth of an inch thick, so they're sturdier. Uh, it looks like they're actually milled. Uh, it has nice round edges on it. Um, the bracket that they have to hold it on your pocket um, is a little bit more refined or, or done to the same style off of the, the aluminum piece. Um, it holds uh, several keys guys. Both of the kits come with three different sets of screws so you can um, 
enlarge the opening for your keys you can put probably up to about 20 keys in them um, I had my car key inside of the key bar and uh, that was a little bit more difficult I drive a Nissan car which has more molded plastic around the ignition key um, which made it a little bit more difficult but what I ended up doing is just run one my ignition key on one side and then I still had space to put three or four keys on the other one and the bars were still parallel um, I didn't have issues with the having my key in the ignition I would actually put the key in the ignition and just flip the hmm. the rest of the key bar over and, and it would rest on the steering column um, one of the things that we did see both presentation and everything guys key bar comes in like a mint can tin can um, and the presentation it, they even have a card for you and and your uh, documentation when it comes down to your instructions uh, on how to assemble it are, are well made um, like they say stop the noise uh, this does tame the noise on your keys it keeps it nice and organized yeah um, yes. so so it's, it's pretty good. Um, you don't hear much anything with these. Yeah. Like Jeff said, this is something that we didn't necessarily know it existed. We didn't know necessarily that this is something we needed. <laughs> but after using it for the past uh, two months, uh, we've actually alternated um, both uh, systems to, to give it a good review and, and a good evaluation. Um, we're happy that we have them. <laughs> yeah. And we definitely recommend them. Um, like I said, maybe the forty-five-dollar keychain is not in your budget, um, but if you really want to give a good, interesting present to somebody that will definitely appreciate it, this is for pretty much anybody. Yeah, yeah, that that's a good point. That twenty-five dollars, forty-five dollars, it seems like a lot, but when I give gifts, I like to give something unique, something that a person wouldn't buy themselves necessarily. This is within the budget of what a lot of people spend on a, on a gift for a Father's Day, a birthday, a Christmas present, uh, and it's unique. It's probably something they don't have already, and if they give it a shot, you know, it took me about a week. Uh, I carried the key bar first, and it took me about a week to get used to the different feel of how it sat in my pocket and everything. When I switched to the grip key, I was already used to it, so it wasn't a big deal. If they give it a little time to get used to it and go through the trial and error of figuring out, okay, how many keys on this side, how many keys on that side, which ones do I use most, where they need to be. I mean, there's some, there's a little bit of a learning curve here. It took me five times of changing keys around to get the key bar right. So if they go through that, I think they'll appreciate it and it'll be a good gift. So overall, we gave this on our five gear scale. This is this got a three and a half, the grip key. This is about key a four. Bar. Yeah, it's about a four. A little bit yeah. better, I think, because of the rigidity when you're when you're starting the car with it. And just a little bit more refined look. You got a lot more options with the grip key. Either one, you can get in a variety of colors. I think the grip key, yeah. because Kydex can be printed with so many different designs, it gives you the ability to do some custom branding and customization. Uh, a little more cost friendly as well. So, uh, we highly encourage you to give either one or both of these a try. Uh, I think you'll be happy that you did. And um, overall, this has been a good experience. We've been pretty happy with them. So, guys, don't forget. Key bar. Yeah, and grip key. Yeah. We'll put the URLs up on the screen for you. Yeah. Where should we put them? Here? I think probably down here. Down here? I'm not sure. Okay. You have to see, for all we know, we said here and we put it up there. You never know with us. Yeah. So it'll be there somewhere. Check out each of these brands. See if one of them looks like a good fit for you. Give it a try. Let them know Gear Report sent you. Don't forget to. Share this video, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check us out on Facebook. We're on all the different social media. If you haven't been to gundistrict.com, check them out. If you're into firearms and you don't like the censorship you see, if you want a Second Amendment friendly social media outlet, go District. check out Gun District. We've got a gear report page on there as well. So thanks yeah. again. It's Jeff. This is also Juan. And, uh, we appreciate you here at Gear Report. So uh, check back off, and we got a lot more reviews coming your way.